Xin chào mọi người, chào mọi người đến với kênh channel của mình à, Ở video trước thì chúng mình đã uh, nghe qua bài How Guest Nhưng mà chưa làm đúng không? Thì bây giờ chúng mình sẽ nghe lại cái bài này để cho mọi người nhớ lại Katie sau học with Toe about staying at his house Nghe lại và chúng mình sẽ làm nhé Hey Todd, can I ask you a favor? Sure, anytime um, I really need a place to stay uh -huh. And I heard that your house is on Airbnb. It is on Airbnb. I do rent my house, but for you, it's free. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Can I course. stay there then? You can. How long? Maybe a week or two weeks. Okay. Uh, when? Uh, from next Monday? Yeah, actually, you can do that. That, that works. Excellent. Thank you so much. How about, uh, how about a car? Can I park my car? Ah, uh, that's a problem. You can't park your car because there's no space. But there is a cheap parking lot about maybe two blocks away. Okay. So it's only a couple dollars a day. Okay, I guess I can park my car there. How about cooking there? Can I cook? Of course, yeah, you can cook. I have a stove, refrigerator. You can bring your own food. You can do whatever you want. Excellent, thank you. Can I use the internet? You can use the internet. Um, there's a password. I will write down the password before I leave. And um, I will write down the password before you get there. Excellent. Thank you so much. I was thinking about asking my friend if he can stay. Can my friend stay over? Yeah, sure. So your friend can stay. Um, not a problem, I don't think. But he has a dog. Can he bring his dog? Ooh, that is a problem. Uh, does the dog have a cage? Um, no, but we can get a cage? Mm, I'm not sure about the dog. If the dog is in a cage, it's okay in the house, but I think, yeah, you can't have the dog in the house. Okay. How about smoking? Mm -hmm. My friend is a very heavy smoker. Can he smoke outside? Yeah, he can smoke outside. Just please pick up cigarette butts, but of course he can't smoke inside. Okay, he can't smoke inside? No. Okay. How about if we want to have a party? Can we have a party? Yeah, you can have a party. That's okay, but please be quiet. Don't be too loud. Um, the neighbors live very close to my house. Alright, that sounds good. Thanks. And I have one more question. Uh-huh. Can I use the washing machine? Yeah, of course. You can use anything. You can use the washing machine. Um, you can use the internet. You can use the TV. You can use anything you like. Wow, excellent. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, am, I will write down directions for my house and I will send you a map. And you can check it out and get all the information. And just, um, I will leave the key for you with my neighbor. Excellent. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. Chúng mình sẽ đến với phần grammar Can và request 
。伸びっすよね。Request for permission. Can I? Can I get a big room? Can I pay by credit card? Can I see your ID? Can I get a window seat? Can I get you to sign it here? Ask for help. Can you? Can you help me? Can you fill this out? Can you speak slower? Can you write that down for me? Yes, responding. Gladly, certainly, of course. Yes, you can. No response. I am afraid not. I am sorry you can't. Unfortunately, no. No, you can't. Thì nó sẽ bị less polite, tức là nó sẽ không được lịch sự lắm ấy. Ok, chúng mình sẽ nghe lại để làm. Hey Todd, can I ask you a favor? Sure, anytime. Um, I really need a place to stay. Uh huh. And I heard that your house is on Airbnb. It is on Airbnb. I do rent my house, but for you, it's free. Oh, amazing! Yeah. Uh, can I stay there then? You can. How long? Maybe a week or two weeks. Okay. Uh, when? Uh, from next Monday. Yeah, actually, you can do that. That that works. Excellent. Thank you so much. How about ah, uh, how about a car? Can I park my car? Ah, uh, that's a problem. You can't park your car because there's no space. But there is a cheap parking lot about maybe two blocks away. Okay. So it's only a couple dollars a day. Okay. I guess I can park my car there. How about cooking there? Can I cook? Of course, yeah, you can cook. I have a stove, a refrigerator. You can bring your own food. You can do whatever you want. Excellent, thank you. Can I use the internet? You can use the internet.、Um, there's a password. I will write down the password before I leave, and、um, I will write down the password before you get there. Excellent, thank you so much. I was thinking about asking my friend. If he can stay, could my friend stay over? Yeah, sure. So your friend can stay.、Um, not a problem, I don't think. But he has a dog. Can he bring his dog? Ooh, that is a problem.、Uh, does the dog have a cage? Um, no. But we can get a cage.、Mm, I'm not sure about the dog. If the dog is in a cage, it's okay in the house. But I think. Yeah, you can't have the dog in the house. Okay. How about smoking?、Mm -hmm. My friend is a very heavy smoker. Can he smoke outside? Yeah, he can smoke outside. Just please pick up cigarette butts. But of course, he can't smoke inside. Okay, he can't smoke inside. No. Okay. How about if we want to have a party? Can we have a party? Yeah, you can have a party. That's okay, but. Please be quiet. Don't be too loud.、Um, the neighbors live very close to my house. All right, that sounds good. Thanks. And I have one more question. Uh huh. Can I use the washing machine? Yeah, of course. You can use anything. You can use the washing machine.、Um, you can use the internet. You can use the TV. You can use anything you like. Wow, excellent. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I am. I will write down directions for my house, and I will send you a map. And you can check it out and get all the information. And just、um, I will leave the key for you with my neighbor. Excellent. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem.
sẽ nghe lại để thiết kế video à đúng thiết kế đáp bán chứ Hey Todd, can I ask you a favor? Sure, anytime. Um, I really need a place to stay. Uh huh. And I heard that your house is on Airbnb. It is on Airbnb. I do rent my house, but for you, it's free. Oh, amazing! Yeah. Can I course. stay there then? You can. How long? Maybe a week or two weeks. Okay. Uh, when? Uh, from next Monday. Yeah, actually, you can do that. That that works. Excellent. Thank you so much. How about ah, uh, how about a car? Can I park my car? Ah, uh, that's a problem. You can't park your car because there's no space. But there is a cheap parking lot about maybe two blocks away. Okay. So it's only a couple dollars a day. Okay. I guess I can park my car there. How about cooking there? Can I cook? Of course, yeah, you can cook. I have a stove, a refrigerator. You can bring your own food. You can do whatever you want. Excellent. Thank you. Can I use the internet? You can use the internet. Um, there's a password. I will write down the password before I leave, and um, I will write down the password before you get there. Excellent. Thank you so much. I was thinking about asking my friend. If he can stay, could my friend stay over? Yeah, sure. So your friend can stay. Um, not a problem, I don't think. But he has a dog. Can he bring his dog? Ooh, that is a problem. Uh, does the dog have a cage? Um, no. But we can get a cage. Mm, I'm not sure about the dog. If the dog is in a cage, it's okay in the house. But I think. Yeah, you can't have the dog in the house. Okay. How about smoking?、Mm -hmm. My friend is a very heavy smoker. Can he smoke outside? Yeah, he can smoke outside. Just please pick up cigarette butts. But of course, he can't smoke inside. Okay, he can't smoke inside. No. Okay. How about if we want to have a party? Can we have a party? Yeah, you can have a party. That's okay, but. Please be quiet. Don't be too loud.、Um, the neighbors live very close to my house. All right, that sounds good. Thanks. And I have one more question. Uh huh. Can I use the washing machine? Yeah, of course. You can use anything. You can use the washing machine.、Um, you can use the internet. You can use the TV. You can use anything you like. Wow, excellent. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I am. I will write down directions for my house, and I will send you a map. And you can check it out and get all the information. And just、um, I will leave the key for you with my neighbor. Excellent. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. Sẽ check and sorry. Okay. Oh, I know she cannot. We say in the connector clothes by season. Meg talks about her clothes that she wears each season. So Meg,、uh, we are talking about clothes、hmm. and. You always look nice at work. You have a very nice fashion sense. Oh, thank you. So you must go shopping a lot. Um, I do go shopping sometimes. It's fun to go shopping and buy new clothes, especially when it's a new season.、Mm, like what? What do you like to wear per season? For example, what do you like to wear in winter? Hmm. 
In the winter, it's pretty cold, so I like to wear sweaters, um, sometimes a t-shirt with a sweater over it to stay warm, uh, lots of long sleeve shirts, I like to wear long sleeve shirts, and I still wear skirts in the winter, so sometimes I wear um, tights underneath the skirts to stay warm. What about dresses? Do you like to wear dresses? Mm, I do like to wear dresses. In the winter, it's a good time actually to wear sweater dresses. They're warm and a dress, so it's nice for work. Sweater dresses. Mm. <laughs> have but you seen a sweater dress before? I have no idea what a sweater dress is. Mm. What is a sweater dress? It's, it's a dress, but made of sweater material. So sweater cloth made into a dress so it's very warm okay i was i was picturing a sweater with a skirt attached to it <laughs> mm, you might find that but i think a sweater dress is a little different okay um what about uh what about in the summer mm, in the summer i love to wear flip-flops it's my favorite thing to wear so i often wear flip-flops with jeans or shorts uh, skirts again. Um, I don't wear tights in the summer because it's too hot. Right. Do you wear flip-flops to work? I can't wear flip-flops to work. So when I go to work, I often wear high heels or flats, some dress shoes. Okay. Oh. So do you like to wear shorts or skirts? Which do you prefer? Mm, I prefer shorts because it's more comfortable and easy to move around. But I also can't wear shorts to work, so I have many summer skirts for work. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk about shoes. Mm -hmm. So, women often have many types of shoes. High heels, boots, flats, like mm -hmm. you just said, sneakers. So, what kind of shoes, besides flip-flops, do you like to wear? I do have many pairs of shoes, and so I like to wear flats and sandals, especially in the summer. In the winter, I like to wear boots and uh, rain shoes when it rains, or rain boots. When I'm exercising, I like to wear sneakers or tennis shoes because it's good for your feet. All right. Now, you travel a lot. We both travel a lot. What shoes do you usually take when you travel? When I travel, I usually take flats because they're easy to remove at the airport and they're light and convenient for traveling. All right. What shoes do you usually use? Just my sneakers. Mm. So my <laughs> sneakers I wear everywhere. Um, now, women sometimes have accessories, mm. you know, like earrings, necklaces, scarves, things like that. Uh, what do you like to wear? I like to wear necklaces, especially long necklaces. I don't like necklaces that are too short. Uh, it feels uncomfortable. I don't like to wear bracelets or a watch because I don't like anything on my wrist. But I do love to wear rings. I usually wear one ring on each hand, just for fashion, not for anything special. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool. Well, anyway, thanks, Meg. Thank you. The four most common connectors in English are as follows and I play tennis and I hold soccer. I like sport and I like cooking. I speak Spanish and I speak German. But I don't have a car, 
I like golf, but I can't play well. I live in Thailand, but I can't speak Thai. Đây là so này. I'm tired, so I will go home. It is raining, so I will stay outside. Inside. It is his birthday, so I got him a gift. Đây là because I failed the test because I didn't study. I'm hungry because I skipped skipped lunch. I put on a coat because uh, it is cold. So Meg, uh, we are talking about clothes and you always look nice at work. You have a very nice fashion sense. Oh, thank you. So you must go shopping a lot. Um, I do go shopping sometimes. It's fun to go shopping and buy new clothes, especially when it's a new season. Mm, like what, what do you like to wear per season? For example, what do you like to wear in winter? Mm, in the winter, it's pretty cold, so I like to wear sweaters. Um, sometimes a t-shirt with a sweater over it to stay warm. Uh, lots of long sleeve shirts uh, to wear long sleeve shirts and I still wear skirts in the winter so sometimes I wear um, tights underneath the skirts to stay warm. What about dresses? Do you like to wear dresses? Mm, I do like to wear dresses. In the winter it's a good time actually to wear sweater dresses. They're warm and a dress so it's nice for work. Sweater dresses. Mm. <laughs> have you seen a sweater dress before? I have no idea what a sweater dress is. Mm. What is a sweater dress? It's it's a dress but made of sweater material. So sweater cloth made into a dress. So it's very warm. Okay, I was I was picturing a sweater with a skirt attached to it. <laughs> Mm, you might find that, but I think a sweater dress is a little different. Okay. Um, what about uh, what about in the summer? Mm, in the summer, I love to wear flip flops. It's my favorite thing to wear. So I flip often flops. wear flip flops with flops. jeans or shorts, uh, skirts. Again, um, I don't wear tights in the summer because it's too hot. Right. Do you wear flip flops to work? I can't wear flip-flops to work, so when I go to work, I often wear high heels or flats, some dress shoes. Okay. Oh. So, do you like to wear shorts or skirts? Which do you prefer? Hmm. I prefer shorts because it's more comfortable and easy to move around, but I also can't wear shorts to work, so yeah. I have many summer skirts it's for work. Okay. Now, uh... Let's talk about shoes. Mm. So women often have many types of shoes, high heels, boots, flats, like mm. you just said, sneakers. So what kind of shoes, besides flip-flops, do you like to wear? I do have many pairs of shoes, and so I like to wear flats and sandals, especially in the summer. In the winter, I like to wear boots and... Uh, rain shoes when it rains or rain boots when i'm exercising i like to wear sneakers or tennis shoes because it's good for your feet tennis uh, shoes. now you travel a lot we both travel a lot what shoes do you usually take when you travel when i travel i usually take flats because they're easy to remove at the airport and they're light and convenient for traveling. All right. What shoes do you usually use? Just my sneakers. Mm. So my sneakers I wear everywhere. Um, now, women sometimes have accessories, mm. you know, like earrings, necklaces, scarves, things like that. Uh, what do you like to wear? I like to wear necklaces, especially long necklaces. I don't like necklaces that are too short. Uh, it feels uncomfortable. I don't like to wear bracelets or a watch because I don't like anything on my wrist, but I do love to wear rings. I usually wear one ring on each hand, just for fashion, not for anything special. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool. Well, anyway, thanks, Meg. Thank you. Okay, let me see.
So Meg, uh, we are talking about clothes, hmm. and you always look nice at work. You have a very nice fashion sense. No, oh, thank you. So you must go shopping a lot. Um, I do go shopping sometimes. It's fun to go shopping and buy new clothes, especially when it's a new season. Mm, like what? What do you like to wear per season? For example, what do you like to wear in winter? Hmm. In the winter, it's pretty cold, so I like to wear sweaters. Um, sometimes a T-shirt with a sweater over it to stay warm. Uh, lots of long sleeve shirts. I like to wear long sleeve shirts, and I still wear skirts in the winter. So sometimes I wear um, tights underneath the skirts to stay warm. What about dresses? Do you like to wear dresses? Mm, I do like to wear dresses. In the winter, it's a good time actually to wear sweater dresses. They're warm and a dress, so it's nice for work. Sweater dresses. Mm. <laughs> have you seen a sweater dress before? I have no idea what a sweater dress is. Mm. What is a sweater dress? It's it's a dress but made of sweater material. So oh. sweater cloth made into a dress. So it's very warm. Okay, I was I was picturing a sweater with a skirt attached to it. <laughs> Mm, you might find that, but I think a sweater dress is a little different. Okay. Um, what about uh, what about in the summer? Mm, in the summer, I love to wear flip flops. It's my favorite thing to wear. So I often wear flip flops with jeans or shorts, uh, skirts. Again, um, I don't wear tights in the summer because it's too hot. Right. Do you wear flip flops to work? I can't wear flip-flops to work, so when I go to work, I often wear high heels or flats, some dress shoes. Okay. Oh. So, do you like to wear shorts or skirts? Which do you prefer? Mm, I prefer shorts because it's more comfortable and easy to move around, but I also can't wear shorts to work, so I have many summer skirts for work. Okay. Now, uh... Let's talk about shoes. Mm -hmm. So women often have many types of shoes, high heels, boots, flats, like mm -hmm. you just said, sneakers. So what kind of shoes besides flip-flops do you like to wear? I do have many pairs of shoes, and so I like to wear flats and sandals, especially in the summer. In the winter, I like to wear boots and uh, rain shoes when it rains, or rain boots. When I'm exercising, I like to wear sneakers or tennis shoes because it's good for your feet. All right. Now, you traveled a lot. We both traveled a lot. What shoes do you usually take when you travel? When I travel, I usually take flats because they're easy to remove at the airport and they're light and convenient for traveling. All right. What shoes do you usually use? Just my sneakers. Mm -hmm. So my sneakers I wear everywhere. Um, now, women sometimes have accessories, mm -hmm. you know, like earrings, necklaces, scarves, things like that. Uh, what do you like to wear? I like to wear necklaces, especially long necklaces. I don't like necklaces that are too short. Uh, it feels uncomfortable. I don't like to wear bracelets or a watch because I don't like anything on my wrist, but I do love to wear rings. I usually wear one ring on each hand, just for fashion, not for anything special. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool. Well, anyway, thanks, May. Thank you. Okay, mình sẽ check answer đây. Okay, à, bây giờ sẽ đến với phần uh, present continuous. Plans for the weekend. Two people discuss the plans for Saturday and Sunday. 
So Sarah, what are your plans for the weekend? I have really fun plans this weekend. On Saturday, I'm meeting some friends, and we're going to hike up a nearby mountain. It's oh, wow. called Mount Surumi, and I think it'll be really fun. Oh, cool. How are you getting up the mountain? How are you getting up to the hiking point? We're going to take the bus, probably. So we'll take a bus until the base of the mountain, and then we can hike to the top. We'll hike about four or five hours, depending on how much time I spend resting. Okay, Which nice. is a lot. So who is going with you? I'm meeting three friends, and they are all English teachers like me. So it's, my friends' names are Hannah and Ben and Michael. Oh, nice. So I'm sorry, where are you hiking again? So we're hiking at the mountain called Mount Tsurumi. It's pretty close to my house. It's not far. So I can see it from my window, my bedroom window, and I always think, oh, I, I would love to go to the top of that mountain. So I'm really happy on Saturday uh, to go and hike the mountain. Then, after we reach the top, we take the cable car down the mountain. Oh, okay, I see. So you're, you're hiking up the mountain, mm -hmm. and then you're taking the cable car down. Yes. So it'll probably be six hours in total between hiking and resting and cable car back down. Oh, wow. What time are you starting? We're starting at 10 o'clock. We're starting at 10 o'clock so that we can finish at 4 o'clock and I can still get my children from school. Their school finishes at 5 o'clock. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So you're really pushing it. Yeah. The, the timing will be tight, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. How about you, Todd? What are you doing on Saturday? Uh, this weekend, I'm not really doing anything. Uh, I think I'm just going to stay home. Mm -hmm. So I'm leaving for Thailand on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I'm flying out of Fukuoka. Oh, that sounds really nice. Yeah. But um, actually, now that I think of it, I am doing something on Saturday. Mm -hmm. My friend is having a dinner party. So I'm planning on attending that. So that should be fun. Oh, that sounds fun. What time does it start? I think it starts at about 8, right? Mm -hmm. So most people will probably be there around 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm not planning on staying that long, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to go and make a short appearance and then come back. Now, we are teachers, so we have grading to do. Mm -hmm. Are you doing any work this weekend? Are you grading any papers? Yes, I'm grading some papers. My students are handing in their papers tomorrow, and then I'm grading them all day Sunday. Yikes. Yeah, so it won't be exciting, but I think if I work hard, I should be able to finish them. Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat, actually, mm -hmm. so I have lots of papers to grade, and I want them finished, so I think I will do it on Friday night. I'm planning on staying late, Friday mm -hmm. and just doing it then. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not so, looking forward to it. So you'll be grading all night on Friday? I'll be grading all night on Friday. I won't be doing anything fun. But I'll be leaving on Sunday, so it'll be worth it. Okay, have fun. Have a good trip. You too. Enjoy the hike. Thanks. Point one, the present continuous can be can be used for plans in the future. What are you doing tomorrow? I am meeting my friend this weekend. I am not working next week. Are you coming to the party tonight? Point two. that involve their people, other people. Or for 
action that affects on people. Taking my mom to the mall. She is not going to the game. We are, we are all meeting at six. Call me tomorrow. I'm not doing anything. Point three. We every else going to for intended actions that involve just one person or that no one else know about. I'm going to relax tonight. I think I am going to watch a movie. I am going to go to bed early through. So, I am not going to cook tonight. Point four, we use the continuous tense for action. We assume we'll start and finish within a short period of time. I am working tomorrow. Start and finish time. I um, work every weekend ongoing. I am meeting my mom for lunch. I often meet my mom for lunch many times. Okay. Let me say that by name. So, Sarah, what are your plans for the weekend? I have really fun plans this weekend. On Saturday, I'm meeting some friends, and we're going to hike up a nearby mountain. It's oh, wow. called Mount Surumi, and I think it'll be really fun. Oh, cool. How are you getting up the mountain? How are you getting up to the hiking point? We're <coughs> going to take the bus, probably. So we'll take a bus until the base of the mountain, and then we can hike to the top. We'll hike about four or five hours, depending on how much time I spend resting. Okay, Which nice. is a lot. So who is going with you? I'm meeting three friends, and they are all English teachers like me. So it's my friends' names are <coughs> Hannah and Ben and Michael. Oh, nice. So I'm sorry, where are you hiking again? So we're hiking at the mountain called Mount Tsurumi. It's pretty close to my house. It's not far. So I can see it from my window, my bedroom window. And I always think, oh, I, I would love to go to the top of that mountain. So I'm really happy on Saturday uh, to go and hike the mountain. Then after we reach the top, we take the cable car down the mountain. Oh, I see. So you're, you're hiking up the mountain mm -hmm. and then you're taking the cable car down yes so it'll probably be six hours in total between hiking and resting and cable car back down oh wow what time are you starting we're starting at 10 o'clock we're starting at 10 o'clock so that we can finish at four o'clock and i can still get my children from school their school finishes at five o'clock oh wow mm -hmm. so you're really pushing it yeah the, the timing will be tight, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, cool. How about you, Todd? What are you doing on Saturday? 
Uh, this weekend, I'm not really doing anything. Uh, I think I'm just going to stay home. Mm -hmm. So I'm leaving for Thailand on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I'm flying out of Fukuoka. Well, that sounds really nice. Yeah. But um, actually, now that I think of it, I am doing something on Saturday. Mm -hmm. My friend is having a dinner party. So I'm planning on attending that. So that should be fun. Oh, that sounds fun. What time does it start? I think it starts at about 8, right? Mm -hmm. So most people will probably be there around 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm not planning on staying that long, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to go and make a short appearance and then come back. Now, we are teachers, so we have grading to do. Mm -hmm. Are you doing any work this weekend? Are you grading any papers? Yes, I'm grading some papers. My students are handing in their papers tomorrow, and then I'm grading them all day Sunday. Yikes. Yeah, so it won't be exciting, but I think if I work hard, I should be able to finish them. Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat, actually, mm -hmm. so I have lots of papers to grade, and I want them finished, so I think I will do it on Friday night. I'm planning on staying late Friday mm -hmm. and just doing it then. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not so, looking forward to it. So you'll be grading all night on Friday. I'll be grading all night on Friday. I won't be doing anything fun. But I'll be leaving on Sunday, so it'll be worth it. Okay, have fun. Have a good trip. You too. Enjoy the hike. Thanks. So, Sarah, what are your plans for the weekend? I have really fun plans this weekend. On Saturday, I'm meeting some friends, and we're going to hike up a nearby mountain. It's oh, wow. called Mount Surumi, and I think it'll be really fun. Oh, cool. How are you getting up the mountain? How are you getting up to the hiking point? We're going to take the bus, probably. So we'll take a bus until the base of the mountain, and then we can hike to the top. We'll hike about four or five hours, depending on how much time I spend resting. Okay, Which nice. is a lot. So who is going with you? I'm meeting three friends, and they are all English teachers like me. So it's, my friends' names are Hannah and Ben and Michael. Oh, nice. So I'm sorry, where are you hiking again? So we're hiking at the mountain called Mount Tsurumi. It's pretty close to my house. It's not far. So I can see it from my window, my bedroom window, and I always think, oh, I, I would love to go to the top of that mountain. So I'm really happy on Saturday uh, to go and hike the mountain. Then, after we reach the top, we take the cable car down the mountain. Oh, I see. So you are, you're hiking up the mountain, mm -hmm. and then you're taking the cable car down. Yes. So it'll probably be six hours in total between hiking and resting and cable car back down. Oh, wow. What time are you starting? We're starting at 10 o'clock. We're starting at 10 o'clock so that we can finish at 4 o'clock, and I can still get my children from school. Their school finishes at 5 o'clock. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So you're really pushing it. Yeah. The, the timing will be tight, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. How about you, Todd? What are you doing on Saturday? Uh, this weekend, I'm not really doing anything. Uh, I think I'm just going to stay home. Mm -hmm. So I'm leaving for Thailand on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I'm flying out of Fukuoka. Oh, that sounds really nice. Yeah. But um, actually, now that I think of it, I am doing something on Saturday. Mm -hmm. My friend is having a dinner party. So I'm planning on attending that. So that should be fun. Oh, that sounds fun. What time does it start? I think it starts at about 8, right? Mm -hmm. So most people will probably be there around 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm not planning on staying that long. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go and make a short appearance and then come back. Now, we are teachers. 
So we have grading to do. Mm -hmm. Are you doing any work this weekend? Are you grading any papers? Yes, I'm grading some papers. My students are handing in their papers tomorrow, and then I'm grading them all day Sunday. Yikes. Yeah, so it won't be exciting, but I think if I work hard, I should be able to finish them. Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat, actually, mm -hmm. so I have lots of papers to grade, and I want them finished, so I think I will do it on Friday night. And I'm planning on staying late Friday mm -hmm. and just doing it then. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not so, looking forward to it. So you'll be grading all night on Friday? I'll be grading all night on Friday. I won't be doing anything fun. But I'll be leaving on Sunday, so it'll be worth it. Okay, have fun. Have a good trip. You too. Enjoy the hike. Thanks. I do speak Spanish. Two people say language they do and don't speak. Sarah, you've taught in a bunch of different places. What countries have you taught again? Uh, quite a few. I've taught in Korea, Ecuador, Taiwan, Mexico, Japan, and the USA. Okay, so and you're... China. Sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you're a language teacher. You've taught in all these amazing countries. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the languages. First, do you speak Japanese? I don't. I'm embarrassed. I've lived here six years, but I don't. How about you? Do you speak Japanese? I do speak Japanese. But oh, it's you do? Yeah, but it's not very good. Oh, People yeah. don't hear me say it that much because it's really bad, but I do speak Japanese. It's bad. But what about the other languages? You lived in Korea. Did you study Korean? I did. I did study Korean. And I did learn to read very well. But now I've forgotten, so I can't speak it anymore. I heard that it's relatively easy to learn the alphabet in Korea. Yes, it is. Um... It's, it was invented by a scientist to be simple and easy to learn how to read. Oh, so wow. it is very easy. What about China? Did you learn Chinese? I didn't. I did study a lot, but in the end, I found it too difficult. Do you speak Chinese? I don't speak Chinese, but I lived in Thailand for five years, mm -hmm. and I do speak Thai. And I did study Thai when I was there, so yeah. Oh, wow. And it's tonal, so it's kind of similar mm -hmm. in some ways to Chinese. And can you read Thai? Uh, I can read Thai. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I do read Thai. So actually, my Thai reading is probably better than my Japanese. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's hard because in Thai, the, the words kind of stick together. Mm -hmm. Now, you were in Mexico and in Ecuador. Yes. So do you speak Spanish? I do speak Spanish. That was one of my goals for moving there, was to become fluent. And I'm very happy now I can say I do speak Spanish. And your husband was with you. Does mm -hmm. he speak Spanish? Yeah, he does speak Spanish. He studied a lot and really improved a lot, so now he can say the same thing. He does speak Spanish. And your children? They do, too. They speak Spanish. Oh, nice. And your children are with you now in Japan. Mm -hmm. Do they speak Japanese? They don't. Um, they're learning very quickly. So I think they will improve, and in a couple of months, I can say that they can. But right now, their Japanese is very low. Mm. So you were just in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Do you miss Mexico? I do miss Mexico. I miss the food the most. I miss the Spanish language. And I miss the music. How about you? Do you miss Thailand? I do miss Thailand a little bit, but not too much because I visit there a lot. So mm. it's not that 
it's not that big of a deal. I go there usually once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in Japan, I do miss it. I miss the food especially. Mm -hmm. Now, we both are outside of the U.S. We don't live in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Do you miss living in the U.S.? I do miss living in the U.S. I, I often miss that I understand and I know the culture so well. Sometimes in Japan, I feel like an outsider. And so I do miss being in the USA and being able to blend into the background to be just another person. Yeah. How about you? Do you miss the USA? I don't. You I don't? don't? I don't miss it at all. So I visit it. Uh, I do miss my family and mm -hmm. I do miss some things, especially like the food and the nature, but I don't miss actually living in America. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I go back so often. Mm -hmm. So these days it just doesn't seem like a big deal. Mm -hmm. Now, we are both in Japan. Uh, do you plan to teach somewhere else soon? I don't. I hope to stay in Japan for a couple of years. We. We are relaxed, we are settled, the children are in school. I hope we can stay here. How about you? Are you going to stay? Or do you have plans to go? I do have plans to go, actually. And I want your old job. Really? <laughs> I want to work for the U.S. government, and I want, to, I want to work in a different country. You should do it. I will.
does that for uh, emphasis when we want to em emphasize a statement we can use do does and did with strike to add meaning for negative sentences extra strat is added to don't doesn't and didn't to add more emphasis sentences you can use do to show emphasis do you have a car I do have a car I don't have a car Do they serve bagels? They do serve bagels. They don't serve bagel. For two, if the subject is third person singular, then you use does. You can use does to show emphasis. Here, he does work here. He doesn't work here. That is, does it cost a lot to live there? It does cost a lot. It doesn't cost a lot. Point three is the action happen in the simple past tense. Use did to show emphasis. Did he come to work today? He didn't come to work today. He uh, did. They find an apartment. They did find an apartment. They didn't find one. Point four. We can add do, does, did, as though. Two sentences to show contrast between two actions. I hate math. I do like science though. Though he does not have much money, he does have a nice house though. I got stick on vacation. We did have a good. Um, though. Okay, mình sẽ đến với phần quiz. Sarah, you've taught in a bunch of different places. What countries have you taught again? Uh, quite a few. I've taught in Korea, Ecuador, Taiwan, Mexico, Japan, and the USA. Okay, so and you're. China. Oh wow! <laughs> so you're a language teacher. You've taught in all these amazing countries. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the languages first. Do you speak Japanese? I don't. I'm embarrassed. I've lived here six years, but I don't. How about you? Do you speak Japanese? I do speak Japanese. But oh, you it's, do? Yeah, but it's not very good. Okay. People don't hear me say it that much because it's really bad, but I do speak Japanese. It's bad. But what about the other languages? You lived in Korea. Did you study Korean? I did. I did study Korean. And I did learn to read very well. But now I've forgotten, so I can't speak it anymore. I heard that it's relatively easy to learn the alphabet in Korea. Yes, it is. Um, it's, it was invented by a scientist to be simple and easy to learn how to read. Oh, so wow. it is very easy. What about China? Did you learn Chinese? I didn't. 
I did study a lot, but in the end, I found it too difficult. Do you speak Chinese? I don't speak Chinese, but I lived in Thailand for five years, mm -hmm. and I do speak Thai. And I did study Thai when I was there, so yeah. Oh, wow. And it's tonal, so it's kind of similar mm -hmm. in some ways to Chinese. And can you read Thai? Uh, I can read Thai. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I do read Thai, so... Actually, my Thai reading is probably better than my Japanese. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's hard because in Thai, the, the words kind of stick together. Mm -hmm. Now, you were in Mexico and in Ecuador. Yes. So do you speak Spanish? I do speak Spanish. That was one of my goals for moving there was to become fluent. And I'm very happy now I can say I do speak Spanish. And your husband was with you. Does mm -hmm. he speak Spanish? Yeah. He does speak Spanish. He studied a lot and really improved a lot, so now he can say the same thing. He does speak Spanish. And your children? They do too. They speak Spanish. Oh, nice. And your children are with you now in Japan. Mm -hmm. Do they speak Japanese? They don't. Um, they're learning very quickly. So I think they will improve, and in a couple of months, I can say that they can. But right now, their Japanese is very low. So you were just in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Do you miss Mexico? I do miss Mexico. I miss the food the most. I miss the Spanish language. And I miss the music. How about you? Do you miss Thailand? I do miss Thailand a little bit, but not too much because I visit there a lot. So mm. it's not that. It's not that big of a deal. I go there usually once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in Japan, I do miss it. I miss the food especially. Mm -hmm. Now, we both are outside of the U.S. We don't live in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Do you miss living in the U.S.? I do miss living in the U.S. I, I often miss that I understand and I know the culture so well. Sometimes in Japan, I feel like an outsider. And so I do miss being in the USA and being able to blend into the background to be just another person. How about you? Do you miss the USA? I don't. You I don't? don't? I don't miss it at all. <gasps> so I visit it. Uh, I do miss my family, and mm -hmm. I do miss some things, especially like the food and the nature, but I don't miss actually living in America. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I go back so often. Mm -hmm. So these days it just doesn't seem like a big deal. Now, we are both in Japan. Uh, do you plan to teach somewhere else soon? I don't. I hope to stay in Japan for a couple of years. We, we are relaxed. We are settled. The children are in school. I hope we can stay here. How about you? Are you going to stay? Or do you have plans to go? I do have plans to go, actually. And I want your old job. Really? <laughs> I want to work for the U.S. government, and I want, to, I want to work in a different country. You should do it. I will. Sarah, you've taught in a bunch of different places. What countries have you taught again? Uh, quite a few. I've taught in Korea, Ecuador... Taiwan, Mexico, Japan, and the USA. Okay, so and you're. China. Sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you're a language teacher. You've taught in all these amazing countries. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the languages. First, do you speak Japanese? I don't. I'm embarrassed. I've lived here six years, but I don't. How about you? Do you speak Japanese? I do speak Japanese. But oh, you it's do? Yeah, but it's not very good. Oh. People don't hear me say it that much because it's really bad, but I do speak Japanese. It's bad. But what about the other languages? You lived in Korea. Did you study Korean? I did. I did study Korean. And I did learn to read very well. But now I've forgotten, so I can't speak it anymore. I heard that it's relatively easy to learn the alphabet in Korea. Yes, it is. Um... It's, it was invented by a scientist to be simple and easy to learn how to read. Oh, so wow. it is very easy. What about China? Did you learn Chinese? I didn't. I did study a lot, but in the end, I found it too difficult. Do you speak Chinese? I don't speak Chinese, but I lived in Thailand for five years, mm -hmm. and I do speak Thai. And I did study Thai when I was there, so yeah. Oh, wow. 
and it's tonal, so it's kind of similar mm -hmm. in some ways to Chinese. And can you read Thai? Uh, I can read Thai. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I do read Thai. So, actually, my Thai reading is probably better than my Japanese. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's hard because in Thai, the, the words kind of stick together. Mm -hmm. Now, you were in Mexico and in Ecuador. Yes. So, do you speak Spanish? I do speak Spanish. That was one of my goals for moving there, was to become fluent. And I'm very happy now I can say I do speak Spanish. And your husband was with you. Does mm -hmm. he speak Spanish? Yeah, he does speak Spanish. He studied a lot and really improved a lot, so now he can say the same thing. He does speak Spanish. And your children? They do, too. They speak Spanish. Oh, nice. And your children are with you now in Japan. Mm -hmm. Do they speak Japanese? They don't. Um, they're learning very quickly. So I think they will improve, and in a couple of months, I can say that they can. But right now, their Japanese is very low. So you were just in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Do you miss Mexico? I do miss Mexico. I miss the food the most. I miss the Spanish language. And I miss the music. How about you? Do you miss Thailand? I do miss Thailand a little bit, but not too much because I visit there a lot. So mm -hmm. it's not that... It's not that big of a deal. I go there usually once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in Japan, I do miss it. I miss the food especially. Mm -hmm. Now, we both are outside of the U.S. We don't live in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Do you miss living in the U.S.? I do miss living in the U.S. I, I often miss that I understand and I know the culture so well. Sometimes in Japan, I feel like an outsider. And so I do miss being in the USA and being able to blend into the background to be just another person. Yeah. How about you? Do you miss the USA? I don't. You I don't? don't? I don't miss it at all. Oh. So I visit it. Uh, I do miss my family, and yeah. I do miss some things, especially like the food and the nature, but I don't miss actually living in America. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I go back so often. Mm -hmm. So these days it just doesn't seem like a big deal. Mm -hmm. Now, we are both in Japan. Uh, do you plan to teach somewhere else soon? I don't. I hope to stay in Japan for a couple of years. We, we are relaxed. We are settled. The children are in school. I hope we can stay here. How about you? Are you going to stay? Or do you have plans to go? I do have plans to go, actually. And I want your old job. Really? <laughs> I want to work for the U.S. government, and I want, to, I want to work in a different country. You should do it. I will.
bây giờ chúng mình sẽ check answer này à, sao là? ok vậy bây giờ video của chúng mình đến đây là kết thúc cảm ơn mọi người đã theo dõi này mọi người trong video lần sau cảm ơn mọi người